Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, history has a strange way of repeating itself. But Mr. Speaker, when in my budget address of the 25th of April, Mr. Prime Minister, just for the record, would you just state for the record that you, you are presenting the second reading of the bill? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I beg to present for second reading a bill shortly entitled Health and Citizen Security Levy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when on the 25th of April 2023, I stated and Mr. Speaker, this is the transparency of our government, Mr. Speaker. We, we, we didn't hide behind, we didn't hide behind any curtain. We didn't try to mama guy. We didn't try to, to, to do things in a kind, in a kind different matter. We said clearly on my budget, page 65, we said, starting from 1st July, we shall impose a health and security levy of 2.5% on goods and services except on food items, medicines, selected building materials, medi medical equipment, and security equipment, Mr. Speaker. This levy will be implemented to have a minimal inflationary impact and avoid any additional administrative burden and cost to businesses. And I said further, and I quote Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, let me be very clear. This levy will not be imposed on any food items, Mr. Speaker. This means, Mr. Speaker, that the cost of food should not change because of the levy unless prices increase overseas. I am urging the private sector to work with the government to ensure that this measure is not used as a basis for increasing the price of food. Mr. Speaker, we expect, Mr. Speaker, that as freight, ch freight charges come down, food prices and the price of other imported items will also decrease. That was a statement I made, Mr. Speaker, in my budget address of on that day. At that time, Mr. Speaker, I explained, as I explained it, we went into conversation and discussion with the Customs Department, with the Ministry of Commerce, spoke to the business people in, in the country because we were legislating a policy that would impact everyone, Mr. Speaker. Lo and behold, Mr. Speaker, among in the hypocrisy of the opposition, they pretended as if what we are doing is something coming out of Mars. As if we are, cre we are creating economic heresy. That we are the most wicked people in the whole world, Mr. Speaker. No one, Mr. Speaker, again, history has a way of repeating itself. And lies have a way of finding their owners, Mr. Speaker. Little did we know that on the 41st August 2011, Mr. Speaker, the United Workers Party had passed a security tax bill. The same United Workers Party, the same leader of the opposition in the same party had passed a similar bill in October 2011, which, which this Labour Party removed when we implemented that. So, Mr. Speaker, you know, and for the record, Mr. Speaker, before they say I lie, it's right there, Security Tax Act, Mr. Speaker, and the member for 
cast you off. He was there, and he justified it at the time for good reason. No, he justified it for good reason, Mr. Speaker. And when he gets up to speak, he'll say why he justified it, and why he justified the one we're doing now. Because, Mr. Speaker, you must... <coughs> and Mr. Speaker, I didn't want to deal with that, that piece of... that thing that's written on that, on that paper there, Mr. Speaker. But, you know, I have two. And somebody just emailed me, just WhatsApped me, and said to me, why am I trying to convince the United Workers' Party about the, the actions? They will never stop. But, Mr. Speaker, I must do it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there was a letter that came to me on the 20th June 2023. It's from a place called the Office of the Leader of the Opposition. At Hiwanora, Hiwanora House, ground floor, Point Seraphine, Castri, St. Lucia. And it's addressed to the Honorable Philip J. Pierre, Prime Minister, Officer Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. And it says, Dear Prime Minister, and letter to Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre calling for suspension of the injunction of the new 2.5% tax. That, was, that letter was sent to me in June. I may have said in April, you know, but only in June. Mr. You see that the, 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 the hypocrisy? I may have said in April in the budget. You, you came here. You came.